What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. <coughs> Excuse me. For all signs, cat suicide, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Interview is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take, only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Uh, for the sign, please. This is for September of 2022. This could resonate if you have um, um, Taurus, any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midday, Mercury, your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free, everyone has free will. For, ah, I can't speak. I'm sorry. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general text of readings. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you like to donate, it's high priestess for five. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Oh, If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it um, very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Okay. So I did receive a couple channelings as I was meditating on your September 2022's energy Taurus. And I got two, <clears throat> and the first one, <clears throat> excuse me, the first one, uh, um, or I think somebody doesn't want me to speak. <clears throat> I'm serious. It's like I got a frog in my throat. It's like somebody doesn't want me to speak, but I'm going to do it anyways. So the first one I got was um, no more lives is the first one. I heard no more lives. So lives like L-I-V-E-S. So I feel maybe for some, you're, you are an online social media person and you were doing lives in some shape, form, or fashion. Like you went live, L-I-V-E, but you're not doing it anymore. Or it could be somebody you're connected to. Um, maybe they went live a lot or sometimes and now they're not about to do it anymore. Um, I heard no more lives. So I feel that could be you about to not go live anymore if you do an online public social media platform where you go live or somebody you're connected to. That was the first one. And the second one, I heard seeing the real truth now. So this could be you seeing the real truth now or somebody you're connected to seeing the real truth now. But someone seeing the real truth now about person, people, place, or situation, how that resonates and applies to Taurus, okay? So no more lives and seeing the real truth now. Those are the two I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. For some, you can be dealing with a fire sign <clears throat> or earth sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in here energy for charts. If you are, because you have the vulture energy and the unicorn energy for the animal spirit cards. So feel for some, you can be dealing with fire sign or a earth sign. You plug it in how it resonates for us. Spirit messages you have for sign or Taurus. You have purity as well. Number 45 could be a very significant number of one's life, possibly. Number 45. Crib, birth, or conception of a child or enterprise. Butterfly, a change for the better. A Taurus has already quit their job. One is about to. A Taurus has already quit their job, and another one is about to. And one Taurus is about to get fired through many series of chain of events, banking institution. <clears throat> so one Taurus has already quit their job in the 3D workspace. One is about to. So that could be you that's already quit your job, Taurus, or somebody you're connected to. And somebody's about, and Taurus is about to quit their job. So that could be you about to quit your job, Taurus, or somebody you're connected to. Only you know your story, not anybody else. And for one, Taurus, I heard they're about to get fired soon through many series of chain events, and I feel a not wrongful termination. Um, and they work at a banking institution. Money laundering and fraud. Money laundering and fraud is what I just heard. Yeah, that's definitely not a wrongful termination. I mean, that is a wrongful, I mean, not a wrongful termination. Money laundering and fraud. I'm surprised if this person doesn't end up in jail, and I'm just being serious. That's crazy. Okay. Vulture. A Taurus is about to ever regret getting involved with the Libra. A low vibrational Taurus. 
a low vibrational Taurus is about to ever regret getting involved with the Libra. So um, maybe it's the one that works at the banking institution and they're about to get fired for money laundering and fraud is what I'm feeling. <clears throat> but um, they're about to ever, some low vibrational Taurus out there, they don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, or values. Um, they're about to get, um, they're about to ever regret, regret getting involved with the Libra, some kind of mass in Libra. They can have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, and Jupiter charts. <coughs> If that resonates for you, Taurus. I feel for a lot of my Taurus collective, you probably know this person, is what I'm feeling. But you plug in how it resonates. Culture. An energy succubus family member is about to try to come back into your life. You're a high vibrational Taurus. For some, they want to suck off you. They are a dark arts person. You know this. For some, they want to energy suck off you and they want your money. You're very high vibrational now. You have a history of addictions. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So you're a high vibrational Taurus now. If this resonates for you, um, you have a history of addictions in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, you know, addictions can be anything. Anything that is, you, if you do too much of it, that's addictions, you know. Um, so it really can be anything, whatever you were addicted to there. And I heard addictions, like plural, so two or two plus addictions. You're high vibrational now, so you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values now. It doesn't sound like in the past, maybe you did, but how that resonates. For some, it's your um, it's your toxic family that wants to come back. Some, it is your neighbors. Um, for some, it could be both. But they want to energy suck off you. I heard for some, your toxic family, you know they're into dark arts. You know they're into dark arts. For some, they can be fire sign neighbors or fire sign um, uh, family members, toxic family members. Aries, Leo, Sages, possibly because they're pulling up as the vulture energy or any other sign. Uh, but however that resonates, uh, somebody, whoever this is for, you have your toxic family members, you know they're into dark arts. So they're pulling up as the dark vulture energy here, whether they're a fire sign or not. Um, that's a dark, dark energy there. Just want to take, take, take. Don't want to give anything copacetically. Um, if that resonates for you, Taurus, um, for some, it's your neighbors. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. Hopefully, if it's your neighbors and they give you problems, hopefully you'll call the police and get a protection order or a restraining order on them. But only you know your story, not anybody else, Taurus. Um, However, that resonates and applies. But I heard you are a high vibrational nail. So, um, and for some, they they want to energy suck off you. For some, they want to energy suck off you and they want money from you. So whoever you are, you're doing well now, whether with business or businesses or workspace energy or side hustle or side hustles, you're doing well financially. They know you are. I feel for some, um, they've been watching you. Uh, like they've been watching you grow and manifest yourself. Um, or they heard you have been, and now they want to come back because you're doing well financially. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates for us. Somebody needs to be careful. <clears throat> They're coming as the vulture energy. Unicorn. A very high vibrational being has recently entered a Taurus's life. This person has given this Taurus a lot of motivation and they're going to continue to give this person a lot of motivation. They're a true, true unicorn and you know this. For one, you're going to help this person out in a, in a very positive way soon. This person is a true blessing to the universe. Wow, that's beautiful, Taurus. So you plug it in how it resonates. So whoever this person is, they're coming in with the unicorn energy in your energetic space with the animal spirit card, Taurus. Um, so they're magical. And um, I heard hair, very high vibrational. So they treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. And they're very, um, they're magical. And I feel, um, but in a positive way. So I feel they might... Um, 
for some, I feel they could have supernatural abilities because they're coming up as the unicorn energy. Uh, I feel for some, they could have supernatural abilities. Maybe it's the psychic. Maybe it's um, maybe they have clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, psychic medium abilities, uh, dreamscape. But I do feel maybe um, supernatural abilities here is what I'm feeling because they're pulling up as unicorn. And they're very high vibrational. They treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. It's someone you already know um, in your life. It is somebody you already know. I heard they've given you lots of motivation. So I don't think the energy suck off you like this vulture energy. I don't think the energy suck off you. I think they are copacetic in the universe. Give and take, give and take, give and, give and take. I feel they are fair and ethical. And um, I... And I and I you're highly intuitive and you know this if this resonates for you because you're a high vibrational being. I heard they've given you lots of desire, drive, and motivation, and they're going to continue. So you're either working with this person now or you used to work with this person. Somehow you know this person. Whoever this person is. I heard you're about to pay it forward to them in a very positive way in the universe soon. So your unicorn energy, you really like this unicorn energy, and um you're about to pay it forward to them. Uh, they could currently be in your life or be in your past. How that resonates and applies for you, Taurus. Um, that's a very good energy um, if this resonates for you. For one, this person is a <clears throat> is a psychic. And for one, they're a professional in the workspace. And for one, they're both. Okay, for one, this person is a psychic. For one, they're a professional in the workspace. So the 3D workspace, everyday workspace. And for one, they're both a psychic and a um, professional out in the workspace. So you have to plug this person in, how they resonate. The unicorn energy, I feel they can be masculine or feminine. How they resonate and apply to your life. I didn't hear a sign on them. They could be an earth sign or any other sign. Um... But um, for some, one, they are a psychic. For one, they are a uh, professional out in the 3D workspace. One, they are both a psychic and a professional out in the 3D workspace. Um, you plug this person in, how they resonate for us. Purity. <clears throat> a Taurus is about to find out about a pregnancy and it is about to piss them off. For one, it is a water sign about impregnating a model. It's about to get this Taurus a huge fire under their ass, and they're about to create many negative series of chain events for this water sign and others. Huge scammer energy. Okay. So, one of you guys, Tauruses, you're about to find out about a water sign that's um, either has already impregnated a model or is about to impregnate a model. And in Leo's reading last night, I picked up a water sign impregnating a model, um, ironically. But I'm picking it up again. So one of you guys, you're about to find out about this water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio Masculine. For some, I feel he's already impregnated the model. For some, you're about to find out he already um, he's about to impregnate the model. Cancer Pisces Scorpio Masculine. He could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio Masculine in his uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine Haven, Jupiter charts. But definitely impregnation of a model, for sure. How that resonates, whether you already know about this or you're about to find out about it, he's already impregnated her or he's about to impregnate her. The purity in this aspect is the impregnation, the impregnation of the model, the pregnancy. Um, but how that resonates, um, when you find this out <clears throat> or you already know it, how that resonates, I feel for a lot you're about to find it out because I heard you're about to find it out. I heard a huge fire is about to get lit under your ass and... I heard you're going to create negative series of chain events for him because he's a huge scammer, huge chain of huge negative series of chain events for him and others because he's a huge ass scammer. So somehow he has scammed you or scammed others in your universe, either now or in the past. And um, somehow him impregnating a model, I think is about to, um, Accentuate this. I think it's about to insituate the series of chain of events like a catalyst for the series of chain of events to occur because I heard once you find out about the pregnancy, for a lot of you guys, for some of you might already know about the pregnancy, um, it's about to light the fire under your ass to create, to cause you to create negative series of chain of events for him. So somehow 
him impregnating this model is about to light a fire under your ass if this resonates for you, Taurus. Um, how this resonates, okay? How that, uh, and apparently he's a, him and others are scammers. But him impregnating this model, I think, is about to become a huge ass catalyst to light the fire under your ass to create the negative series of chain events for him. Now, whatever they are, I'm not sure. If he's a scammer um, and he's <clears throat> and he's created an illegal business and profited and gained money off people in illegal ways in the past, just a little helpful FYI, if anybody doesn't know this, there is a reporting tool for the um, for the feds in the United States of America. If this person resides in the United States of America, it's the Federal Trade Commission. It's online. I think it's FTC.org, but if it's not, you can Google Federal Trade Commission. It pops you up to the site. You report scammers, spammers, frauders, illegal businesses, something like scams um, on the Federal Trade Commission portal. Um, I have had to report um, things on the Federal Trade Commission portal before, and that's just the truth. So you could report to the Federal Trade Commission or not. Um, or you could call the police or you could report him to an official entity or uh, there's many avenues you could go with creating series of negative series of chain events for him. For some, it could be legal issues. I'm not sure, but <clears throat> whoever this water sign energy is that's about to impregnate this model already has, okay? He's about to piss you off if this resonates for you, Taurus. A Taurus feminine, <clears throat> 30 and above, is about to find out she's pregnant. Baby number three. A Taurus feminine, 30 and a, and a Taurus feminine, 35 and above, is about to find out she's pregnant with baby number two. A Taurus feminine, 30 and above, is about to find out she's pregnant with baby number three. So you're a Taurus fem, you're 30 and above, and you're about to find out you're pregnant with baby number three. So baby number three, happy, happy. You're going to be happy. So congratulations, you're going to be happy. And a Taurus feminine, 35 and above, I heard she's about to find out she's about to be pregnant with baby number two. So pregnancy energy, very strong in here. Congrats to Taurus fem, 35 and above, if you're going to be happy about this. A lot of pregnancy in these readings in September, a lot. Um, and that would make sense with the crib, birth or perception of a child or enterprise, birth, like, like pregnancy we have double pregnancy energy in here and at least three pregnancies in this reading i mean at least three uh cancer pisces scorpio masculine is about to impregnate a, mo impregnate a model and at least two core spams about to find out they're pregnant 130 and above 135 and above i mean a lot of pregnancy and double confirmation in the cards as well oh my god A new TV show. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Okay, I just heard a new TV show. So um, this could be you watching a new TV show or for some. <clears throat> I pull in a tour celebrity in here a lot. So for some, I feel you could be the tour celebrity and maybe um, you're about to be on a new TV show or creating a new TV show. Maybe you could be producing or directing the new TV show or starring in the new TV show because I do pull in a tour celebrity in here very heavy, uh, a masculine one, um, very heavy. So it could be you, sir, directing or producing this new TV show or starring in this new TV show if you are the celebrity Taurus. I pull in a lot. Or you could be... Um, or you could be watching a new TV show. Maybe it's your new favorite TV show. But um, birth or conception of an enterprise in this aspect, I feel is the new TV show. Whether you have created this new TV show or you're helping create this new TV show or you're just watching this new TV show. How this resonates in applause, okay?
And baby number four for a Taurus feminine 40 and above. It's about to shock the hell out of her. And baby number four for a Taurus feminine 40 and above. It's about to shock the hell out of her. Oh my Lord, there's a lot of, that's four pregnancies. God, baby number four. I heard for a pregnant, a uh, Taurus feminine 40 and above. It's about to shock the hell out of her. So baby number four, that's the fourth pregnancy in here. My God. <clears throat> And a Taurus masculine that has been dating an Aries feminine, she's about to end up pregnant. It is about to piss an air sign off. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A Taurus masculine that has been dating an Aries femme, I heard it is about, um, she's about to end up pregnant. It's about to piss an air sign off. So. Whoever this air sign is to you or the Aries femme you've been dating, Taurus masculine, it could be a family member of hers, it could be a family member of yours, it could be an ex of yours, ex of uh, hers, some kind of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, being the short thumb and having Jupiter charts. But somehow, the pregnancy of this Aries femme is about to piss an air sign off. Um, whoever the air sign is to you or her, or both of you. Uh, but she's about to end up pregnant. It sounds like it's going to be your kid. Definitely going to be your kid. You were going to question it. Paternity test. But it will be your kid. Oh, my God, Taurus. Whoa. Holy shit. Heard you're going to question it. You're going to get a paternity test. Oh, shit. That might be what this is the air sign off, possibly. I don't know. Oh, you have to plug the air sign in, how they resonate. But I heard you're going to get a paternity test because you're going to question paternity. But I heard it is going to be your kid. That's so much pregnancy in here. This is the most pregnancy I've ever pulled in in a reading in my two and a half years of reading. And I'm serious. This is a lot of pregnancy. I'm staying away from the water. Butterfly, a change for the better. Yaw, 555 five, five energy. <clears throat> a Taurus is about to sell their home soon. And a Taurus is about to try to sell a home that's not theirs. They're about to run to, into huge roadblocks. And they're about to be exposed for fraud. Okay, I heard a Taurus is about to sell their home soon. So congratulations to whoever's about to sell their home. Um, it sounds like you're about to do it the legal right way. So congratulations. And for one, you're about to try to sell a home soon. But I heard it's not, um, there's some kind of fraud involved. Um, you're about to run into some kind of roadblocks and through many series of chain of events, you will be exposed. So there's some kind of fraud, I think with signature or signatures, um, or documentation or something, um, for the fraud or one, not for the one that's about to sell it free and clear and you're not a fraud, the other one. Um, I heard you will be exposed for many series of chain of events, uh, for some kind of fraud situation with this, try, regarding trying to sell this home. So it sounds like you want to sell the home for the money, but it's not even yours to sell. Most certainly not yours to sell. Most certainly not yours to sell. Um, I'm surprised if you don't end up in jail with that, that, but you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. Let's pull a kipper. And a Taurus feminine is about to get married soon. 35 and below. And a Taurus Femme is about to get married soon. Well, congratulations, ma'am, if that resonates for you. You're 35 and below, you're Taurus Femme, and you're about to get married soon. Congratulations, ma'am, if that resonates for you. And a Taurus is about to move out of a hotel into an apartment. And a Taurus Feminine is about to, uh, not a Taurus Femme, a Taurus, masculine or femme Taurus. Is about to move out of a hotel soon into an apartment. Well, congratulations if that resonates for you. Um, so are ma'am. Recruiting for psychic investigating and inve investigative work is about some very significant in Taurus's life. Recruiting for psychic investigative work is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. I heard, take it, that message. Um, I heard recruiting for psychic investigative work is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. So I feel for some, you could be the a recruiter. And um, for some, you could be the recruiter recruiting psychic investigators. 
possibly Taurus, or you could be a Taurus recruited by a recruiter for psychic investigative work. And I've been pulling that in my readings too. <clears throat> so congratulations if you're a psychic investigator about to get recruited. <clears throat> for some, I feel you could be the recruiter. But you and I, and whoever this is for, I feel you're about to get re either recruited by the FBI or you work for the FBI and you're about to start recruiting psychic investigators. And I'm serious about that. According to the reading I did the other day, I'm serious. Number 16, 21, or 7 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 16, 21, or 7. Thoughts upright, family room upright, message upright. A Taurus is about to get very significant communication. <clears throat> regarding an illegal business scam of a family. It's about to piss them off in a huge way. A huge way. They're about to take great action on this. For one, they were lied to in a huge way in the past. A Taurus is about to get significant communication regarding an illegal um, business, scamming illegal business of a family. Um, I heard this Taurus is about to get a huge fire lit under their ass. They were lied to in a huge way in the past. So some kind of, we've had a lot, we have a lot of scamming and spamming and fraud and what have you, what have you in here. Um, I heard you were lied to in a huge way in the past. So communication coming about it. So. It sounds like somebody strategically led you in a wrong way in the past. They strategically led you in circles. Very strategically led you in circles, but you are about to expose this asshole in a huge way. Okay, I heard very strategically led you in circles, but you're about to expose this asshole in a huge way. So message, you're about to receive the actual communication of the real truth is what it sounds like here. But somebody strategically led you in circles in the past, in the um, in the past. But you're about to expose that person and get to the truth of the matter. Is what it sounds like. You're about to think heavily on this information. You're about to get it out of the blue unexpectedly. You're about to get it out of the blue unexpectedly. So you're about to get this communication out of the blue unexpectedly. I feel like it could be a text message or a group chat or a messenger or a maybe a. Um, uh, snail mail or in person, but you're about to get this communication unexpectedly out of the blue. You're going to be heavily contemplating it, mulling it over, and I think that'll be the 555 five, five change for the better too, because whoever you are, I feel you might be an investigator in this situation, but you might be an investigator or just a concerned citizen, how that resonates, but feel for one, you might be an investigator, but it, <clears throat> it's about to, <clears throat> oh my God, it's about to, um, really light a fire under your ass so i heard you were lied to in the past so i feel for some you might be an investigator pi private eye uh, police investigator fed what have you what have you family room about um an illegal business um done scamming and spamming done on a, fa a family in the past in their home is what i'm feeling um you plug it in how it resonates all right let me see if i hear anything else A very high vibrational Taurus masculine, older Taurus masculine <clears throat> is about to find very significant text messages on their wife's phone soon. Cheating. When they find this, it's about to light a huge fire under their ass and it's about to cause them to help a very high vibrational being. They're already helping this, be this being, but they're about to help them even more. Oh, my Lord. So a very high vibrational Taurus masculine, older Taurus masculine being uh, 35, 36 or above Taurus. They could have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Orphan, and Haven, Jupiter, charts. 
Your high vibration will treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values, and etc., etc. You're about to find significant text messages I heard on your wife's phone, sir, um, regarding cheating. And I heard once you, you haven't found them yet, but it sounds like once you do, you're going to, um, it's going to piss you off. It's going to piss you off. And I heard you're going to, you're already helping out some kind of high vibrational being right now. It might be this unicorn energy is what I'm feeling. But I heard you're going to cause this to help this person out even more once you find these text, cheating text messages of your wife. I heard you're going to find them on her phone. So I, I'm assuming you have her passcode or you're about to get her passcode or or you already have access to her phone or what have you, what have you. But I heard you're about to find them on her phone. So you either have her passcode or you're, or what have you, what have you get in her phone or you're about to find it out. Uh, maybe you're suspecting possibly. Um, but you haven't found them yet, but they're cheating text, cheating text messages. So message, cheating text messages. They're on your wife's phone. Um, you're high vibrational. Apparently she's not, but she's cheating on you. Um, but I heard once you find them, you're already helping out a high vibrational being now. But once you find them, I heard you're going to cause you to help this person out even more. I think it's this person right here. But you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, that's some shit right there. I'm sorry for whoever that's for. That's why I like to remain legally single. I don't want my ass getting cheated on. That's just the truth. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helped. And namaste.